guys. Happy Wednesday. Welcome back to Devotions with Emma and Sammy and Sleepy Olive over here. We're so excited that you're here with us today. Um, today we're going to be talking about sadness. Just not as fun, but we're going to talk about why it's important for us. Um, but first, we're going to head over to Emma for our main idea and verse. So our main idea today is a good kind of sadness. And our verse is from 2 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 10. The kind of sorrow God wants us to experience leads us away from sin and results in salvation. There's no regret for that kind of sorrow, but worldly sorrow, which lacks repentance, results in spiritual death. And that is it for our verse. Back over to you, Sammy. Yes, thank you, Emma. So when someone is sad, usually we try to cheer them up. Uh, we don't really like to be sad ourselves. We don't like for the people around us to be sad. So we try to cheer them up, try to make them happy again. Um, but Jesus actually says that there's a good kind of sadness. And you're saying, what? That doesn't make any sense. Stick with me. Good kind of sadness. Jesus says the sadness that you feel about your sin, big stretch from all of um, it's actually a good kind of sadness. So when we look at ourselves and we say, oh my gosh, I'm doing the wrong thing. I'm sinning a lot. I'm not walking towards God. And that makes me really, really sad. That sadness that you feel is good because that sadness pushes you towards repentance. And we've talked about repentance on here before, but a quick refresh. Repentance is when you're going towards something bad and you either have done that bad thing or you're about to do that bad thing. And you turn around, she's really stretching. You turn around away from that bad thing and you go to go towards God. So here's an example of repentance. Her ears flipped over. Embarrassing. Here's an example of repentance. Let's say I'm at Emma's house. She goes downstairs to get some snacks and I am dancing and I accidentally knock over the pot that's on the shelf behind her. And she comes back and she's like, hey, you see me? What happened to that pot? And I feel like I'm going to lie. I'm going to blame it on her dog, Harper, and say, Harper just came in and she was crazy and she knocked the pot over and I tried to stop her, but I, I couldn't. I feel like that's something I could do. But in that moment, I say, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to admit that I did it. I'm going to apologize and I'm going to offer to buy her a new pot. That is me turning away from that bad thing and towards what God would want me to do. So when we feel a sadness over things that we've done or thought of doing or want to do, and it turns us towards repentance, that's a good thing because repentance pushes us closer to God. Oh, gosh. Big stretch again. So I want you to keep thinking about this idea of this good sadness and repentance and going closer to God. And I want you just to ask yourself, what is something that I can repent from today? Maybe it's the sadness that you felt. Maybe it's something you've been thinking about. What's something that you can repent from today? And what's super cool is when we ask these questions, we don't have to just answer them ourselves. The Holy Spirit actually is like really guiding us in that and saying, hey, let me help you with this. So don't feel alone in these questions either. But ask yourself, what can I repent from today? That is all I have, so we're gonna head over to Emma for our invitation. All right, so to celebrate National Clown Day, we invite you guys to get creative in color clown makeup. So we're gonna give you guys this worksheet and it will have the outline of a clown's face on it, and then you get to draw on and color their makeup. So the goofier he looks, the better. This worksheet will be linked in the description box below. That's it for today, and we will see you tomorrow, guys. Bye. Bye.